these December holidays, my five closest friends and I decided to go on a cruise to New Zealand. First, meet the crew. There's Nancy, Reese, Tammy, Steph, Nick, and me. I want to share with you some of our adventures. From Sydney to Melbourne, it has now come time to sail our way to New Zealand, to a place called Dunedin. Tammy, very kind. Once we made it off the ship and had a look around the city centre, we booked a taxi and headed up to New Zealand's only castle, the Lana Castle. Which I'm hoping is how you pronounce it. And we're in the castle checking everything out. Welcome to the nanny room. Nanny room. We're going up the stairs, which are really with a, tiny. With only and it's like the top. forever. I don't think I can go down. No, I need to keep this one right. I made it! It's so pretty. Oh, wow. We weren't actually allowed to film inside the castle, so here's a bit of the gardens and some ducks. We really did enjoy looking around this place, and the view was one of the best I've seen. With only a few hours left in Dunedin, we headed back into the city to see the chocolate factory. We're not going in because we don't have much time before we have to go back on board. We're just gonna head and get some lunch. Our next stop was Picton. As we arrived there, we were all greeted with these beautiful flowers, which we took quite a few photos of. Oh yeah! Oh, we actually opening it. Yeah. Okay. We didn't really have much plan for this place, so we just hopped in a shuttle bus and made our way to the beach. Another amazing place. We just needed to decide what to do and where to start. So we made it to Picton and today we don't really have a plan so we're just going on the flow, going to shops. Probably gonna go sit on the beach later. Yeah, it's gonna be a good day. This guy busking was seriously wicked and I guess because of the hair he reminded me of Bumpa Louie so I had to get some footage of him. Anyways, for the rest of our day we ended up sitting on the beach just enjoying the surroundings and the beautiful weather which did also remind us of home. We all do love the sun. And as usual, we couldn't leave without taking some photos, and so that's all we did. I find that without photos, I tend to forget some great memories, so by having my camera around, I can capture moments like that and look back at them in the future. And then it came time to get ready to catch the bus back to the ship. It seems to me we've hit the point where everyone's tired and just wants to sleep. Yes, yes, yes. Uh... <laughs> Siesta was our to-do thing nearly every hour of every day. It's what holidays are for, right? <laughs> so, a new day, a new place. Wellington, our last stop in New Zealand. Again, we didn't have much of a plan, so we just explored everything nearby. Ooh, in the museum. Look, it is a waterfall behind me. The weather was definitely different from Picton, not beach weather anymore, but we still had a good day out and now time to sail back to Australia.